Hello, and welcome to Idaho Birder, a podcast featuring Idaho birding members, their adventures, news, and tips. I'm your host, Tom Carroll. This is Episode 1, Steve Bly's Web of Life. Idaho is a great state for birding, with over 2,000 miles of birding trails and 175 different sites, you're never too far from the action. When the birds are out, the weather's great and we're feeling good, it's easy to take this abundance for granted. Not so for this week's guest, travel and wildlife photographer Steve Bly. During a photo shoot in Costa Rica eight years ago, Steve contracted a rare disease that challenged his health. But Steve's passion for wildlife and the development of an incredible backyard habitat has allowed him to take world-class photographs at home, even during times when he hasn't been able to travel. You may have seen Steve's photos in Idaho Birding or in any one of over 200 publications. Steve has been named Photographer of the Year twice by the prestigious Society of American Travel Writers. While photography has taken Steve around the planet, One of his favorite places in the world to be is with his wife Pamela at their home along the Boise River. For this episode, Steve invited Idaho birding member Ken Miracle and I to his home. During our visit, Steve described what being able to photograph and enjoy birds has meant to him, and he shared some of his favorite Idaho birding hotspots, including his home, where the photos accompanying this podcast were taken. Here he is. My name is Steve Bly. Photography has really kind of kept me alive for the last eight years and living here in Boise and in our beautiful home and the surroundings that we have here creates a a wonderful environment, kind of a web of life for wildlife. I'm really turned on with wildlife right now. Despite health issues that have limited his mobility from time to time, Steve keeps a busy schedule and maintains a richly engaged life filled with meaningful work in wildlife. I work on the computer a lot, and uh, I do sell images as well. I have like three stock images worldwide that uh, sell my images through uh, photo researchers. So that kind of keeps me a little bit with the computer. And then in, in terms of the wildlife, there's just so many factors living here. You know, the mannerisms of wildlife is just unbelievable from morning to night. and uh, and how they react to weather, to other wildlife, which is really kind of fun to see them interact with one another. Of course, uh, little babies when they're born, that's really fun. As we talk, we tour Steve's home and look out the windows. There's a stream running through his backyard that's filled with trees and vegetation. There are nesting boxes and little structures for his wife Pam's mason bees. A great blue heron is perched high up in a cottonwood tree, and below, a wood duck couple readies their nesting box. Mallards mill around the grounds, and a variety of songbirds appear at every window. My summary of the experience? Wow! Inside my house, I can shoot outside and through my windows if I want. I have a robin's nest underneath the eaves of uh, our workout room. And a robin comes in there every uh, spring and lays four or five eggs and has little babies. And I've gotten some wonderful shots of the uh, robins feeding them with green grubs and worms and all sorts of little insects, which is really interesting. And they use the nest uh, over and over and over again. My wife has a beautiful uh, tulip garden. This creates a real great habitat for hummingbirds. That's another thing that I can go in my office and shoot through the windows and get hummingbirds through the tulips. Out of the, uh, the bedroom, we have a, an owl's box with little screech owls, which we see. And then we have a service berry. And of course, uh, the cedar wax wings come in. And so I've shot some beautiful shots through the window of the bedroom of cedar wax wings eating service berries. You just turn one way or another and there's a picture. 
Steve points out the window to the wood duck nesting box, and I asked him who put it up. The Audubon Society. They've set up uh, 13 wood duck boxes and uh, donate their time, and they check the boxes every spring and summer to see how many are eggs are laid, whether they're owls or whether they're wood ducks. So it's a great contribution by the Audubon Society. That's been kind of a cool thing. Along the Boise River and uh, on Loggers Creek, if you can find access to Loggers Creek, there are wood ducks everywhere right now. And uh, we've got a female wood duck and a male wood duck looking in the box right now, which is pretty early. We had 13 little babies come out last year. When all of that was happening, a mink showed up, and the mink went after the little babies, and I got this unbelievable shot of this big mink going after the little babies. So the mink was waiting there for maybe a day or two and dug a hole in the ground right next to our house and waited until those babies were hatched. Once they came out of the box, he was right there. And I was right there with my camera and boom, just like that, did it. So that's nature at its best, the web of life. (laughs) Steve, do you have any favorite birding spots? I'd say in the spring of the year, you can't be the Camas Prairie Wildlife Marsh. And uh, in the spring of the year, and especially this year, because of all the snow that we've had, it should just be absolutely beautiful, covered with water and with the camas. And the bird life there is just unbelievable. Everything you can think about. I'll go there four or five, six times a year. Not that far from Boise, an hour and a half near Fairfield. Some really great opportunities to photograph for eagles and uh, bluebirds as well on that venture. I'd say Camas Prairie in May and June. Other than seeing your postings in the Facebook group, Steve, how can people get in touch with you? I have a website, which is blyphoto.com, and that pretty well covers my background and uh, about 70 or 80 of my favorite images throughout the world, and uh, encourage people to take a look. Steve, thank you so much. Okay. Pleasure to be here. And thanks to you for listening. We'll be back next week with another episode of Idaho Birder. Until then, happy birding. The theme music for Idaho Birder is Duetino for Two Bassoons, composed by Eugene Bosa and performed by Arthur Grossman, Bruce Granger, and Terry Ewell, licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike license.